Hi guys, and today I'm gonna talk about a very basic problem that I have to deal with all the time. So I guess um, some thoughts on it could be possible for people since everybody should be having this. So the thing is that I have here, for example, uh, all these shapes, particle shapes, and I have 1000 of them here on the on this plane and my problem is that the size variation doesn't actually give me a useful variation in size it uh, works when you have a small number of particles let's say we have like a dozen and we have much bigger size just to be able to perceive them so if I increase here the variation to something a lot like 90 percent you're gonna see that I get a perceivable difference between this guy who is very small and this guy who is very big problem is that when I go to a thousand particles a bit smaller size uh, now now just cognitively I'm not able to perceive a great difference especially in certain angles you know when a lot of these guys are close together and this is uh, not a mathematical problem so much as a cognitive thing because uh, obviously the perception of of uh, difference is just things popping up so something should be much bigger and much smaller uh, than than something else and you need to have a visible a small uh, a visible you know small like manageable number of things that just should catch the eye but you know we can this can be discussed a lot but the real question is how to get rid of this problem so of course there are many ways to do it and you could go into value to time um, distribution stuff but since you have to do this all the time i don't think a value to time for example solution is a good idea because you get a lot of curves and it gets complicated also you could start splitting your stuff to different groups um, a lot of different things but when I thought about what would be the easiest uh, solution to this thing, which can be so simple that can be used all the time, I came up with this kind of an idea. Just to get all the particles which are in a certain <coughs> threshold, meaning, meaning a, a small ratio of particles, and just increase their uh, the value for them uh, with a certain factor. So let's see, let's see how this is going to work. I'm just going to get an expression and in the expression I'm gonna say a simple if statement so if the seed is below uh, the ratio which is just means that for the specified number of particles because I'm gonna use a random seed to create random numbers for every particle and a ratio to just split off with this uh, less than here a small number of these particles then I'm gonna get the base value and multiply it by a factor and for all the other particles meaning the majority of the particles I'm gonna just return the base value so I now have to fill in the ins and outs it's gonna be the seed the base the factor and the ratio and the output is just gonna be my result so for the seed of course I need a random I'll make it from 0 to 100 feel a bit more comfortable so for all the other guys I'm gonna just have some floats so it's gonna be the base and the factor and the ratio so mm, I'm gonna disable the variation so we can only see what this thing is doing I'm gonna put it to size let's see now yeah sometimes the dialogue actually pops in the background this guy so let's see now what's gonna happen uh, right now nothing because base is say base is one can we dial no oh 
okay now we can he had to press enter here to make it evaluate some for some reason so this is without any variation at all so without with no variation that's how it looks then what I can do is that I can make some of the particles these guys for example let's say 20% get their size increased twice if I decrease the base value you see now that I start getting a perceivable difference and the more I increase this thing the bigger is gonna be the difference that I see and actually the less the ratio is again it's gonna be a much uh, more visible thing so now here I can kick in the variation here which is gonna be only my you know lowest level um, variation thing so you see now that I have a visible difference and I can very easily dial the amount of this you know operation so I would say this works for like a few hundred particles so let's show this off increase the base value um, I can go higher here something like this guess could you could say it's working but the problem is that the ha the more particles you have the bigger this issue becomes let's it, it just it just scales the whole issue scales so let's uh, say we have much more particles so I'd say this works kind of you know because you see the all the all the small ones and the islands here but what you could do to make it um, adapt to an even higher count is that you could instead of one of these setups uh, I can just name these to be more visible base factor and ratio I can just use two of these setups chained together so I can copy the whole thing gonna get rid of the, the random because I'm gonna use the same one and of the base because I'm also gonna use the same one or just lift them higher so this is gonna be my first level of uh, you know boosting and then this is gonna be my second level so the way I can merge them the easiest way I figured is just with an average so I'm gonna have an expression and I'm gonna have A and B inputs yeah, Cyrix, sorry so A, B and the result and of course you have in mind that this stuff you only do once when you create it so it is average between a and b is uh, arithmetic or average is a plus b divided by 2 so if I average these guys out and let's say I'm gonna have the factor of the my second tier like much higher like 5 instead of 2.5 here and I'm gonna have like only a small ratio of these so now let's see what is gonna happen I can dial this factor here so you see that I have some now who are much bigger and I can dial their ratio down so I can get only like a few that are very big So you see that out of the all the ones that I choose to be, you know, bigger, the ones that I that are gonna be really big are gonna be a portion of them. That's because I use the same random seed. So the same guys who get inside this ratio of eight uh, are gonna are gonna a portion of them are gonna get inside this this ratio. So so this is gonna be a portion of these guys. 
So you see now that I have like only a fraction of really big ones. Make them, you know, very big. And I have all the all the average ones that I can see and all the smaller ones in the kind of background. So now this is something which really is a setup which really works for, for this amount of particles. So you can get really a perceivable, visible variation in size, meaningful, you know, that you that the, your eye can can recognize. So of course this thing becomes um, I think it's really working because it is really easy to dial all this stuff. Uh, it's really easy to dial the factors, you know, the ratios, uh, to just be able to get exactly the the amount that you know your uh, goal requires. Uh, the only problem is that it uh, gets kind of big setup. So what you can do is you can simply um, convert this whole thing to a black box and I actually have done this already so if I just remove this and go to my black boxes you're gonna see that I have a one level breakup which is the same thing I showed you in the beginning and I have a two level breakup so the two level breakup is a black box now and I only need to connect the particle and all this other stuff I can just dial in and I can use this as a result. So you see, it, it is much uh, more neat setup. So, you know, less nodes and just as useful. And the default stuff, of course, is once, but when you pull it, put in the numbers, you get the same kind of an idea and you can always dial everything up and down with the base so this is the pretty much the the thing and I hope it's useful for you guys and see you next time